to the lesson number two of QuickWork Automation. In the previous lesson, we configured our very first journey with an event and one action. And as we discussed briefly in the previous lesson, we're going to expand this to a few more actions in which we're going to ask the user, what is your email? And we're going to insert this into a Google Sheet. And a Google Sheet looks something like this with the name Lessons Lead Capture. So we'll go back to the Automation Journey Builder and we're going to hit the Stop Journey button. This will allow us to make modification into our existing journey as well as it will stop receiving any new events from Facebook while it is in the stop state. Now since we wish to expand our existing workflow, we can definitely clone the same step or we can add a new one. But since we want to ask one more question to the uh, from the Facebook Messenger, I can hit the clone button. What this will do is it will configure the same step below with everything same as pre-filled as it was before. This allows me to quickly make modifications such as just changing a bunch of text from name to email and also changing the answer type to email. Do keep in mind the recipient stays the same since the person who we want to ask the question still is the same. So that's one more step done. The next step is to add this into our Google Sheet. So you're going to choose add a new action, a simple action, you're going to open this window, open up, up, and you're going to choose Sheets. Once you have chosen Sheets, it will give me the ability to either perform one of these actions just like before. I'm going to choose add a row. Now I can add or use rather an existing connection or create a new connection. Since this is one of our first demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and create it and I'm going to call this for lecture 2 connection. Just to keep in mind what kind of connection this is in the future. Once I click on link account, it will give me a Google login screen. I'm going to choose the account which contains the sheet in question. I'm going to give Quick Work Automation the permission to make respective modifications and I am going to choose the spreadsheet from the drop down. Now, in my case, it was Lessons Lead Capture. I'm going to choose that. And as you recall, we only have one workbook inside this spreadsheet. Or we can rather, the spreadsheet contains only one sheet inside. So we can choose that specific sheet. And as you can see, it pulled off from that sheet my two respective columns, the lead name and the lead email address. So I can now fill this in with the information available to me right over here. So if I click on lead name, you'll see that the app data tree contains more results than it contained in the previous lesson. That's because we have added more steps above this one. So for the first ask a question, as you may recall, was asking, what is your name? So again, I can drag it and drop it, or I can simply click and it will insert it. And lead email is something that we're capturing in the second attempt. So I'm going to drag it and drop it. Now that all of this is done, I can hit save and I can definitely start the automation. So, so now we can switch back to our Facebook menu from here. Now since we are on the Facebook menu, I'm going to send once again a hi. And I'm going to ask it, what is your name? I'm going to say Krish. And I'm going to insert my email address. So this is the new step that we added. Once we have done this, the journey sort of ends over here. So if I go back to the automation platform and I hit refresh, you'll see a new task has been performed. But more importantly, let me go ahead and see the Google Sheet. As you can see, my inserted record that I did it in the Facebook Messenger is now added to my Google Sheet. And so I can also audit it on what actually happened. As you can see, it went from Facebook, asked a bunch of questions, and then added a new row into the Google Sheets, which contains the relevant details that I had to insert. And that's pretty much it. This is how you connect multiple more actions into an existing workflow or journey. So in the next lesson, we're going to add a few more uh, steps by utilizing conditioning logic, which is if case, 
and we're going to use formulas to transform data, which you will see is quite interesting and useful. Thank you very much.